Hi, I'm Mike Teal, owner and chairman of Rayleigh's Markets. But most importantly, I'm an advocate for the consumer. Some would think that candy is a leading source of added sugar in the American diet. But actually, sugary drinks make up 36% of the sugar we consume. Regularly drinking sugary beverages is linked to a slew of different diseases, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Did you know that sugary drinks go way beyond soda? Sports drinks, energy drinks, flavored waters, and sweetened coffee and tea, they're also considered sugary beverages. And here's the problem. To get consumers to drink their products over and over again, manufacturers have learned to add a lot of sugar to their product. And I believe they know exactly what they're doing. For example, a typical 12-ounce can of soda contain as much as nine teaspoons of added sugar. Can you imagine allowing yourself or your children to add nine teaspoonfuls of sugar to any drink? Soda manufacturers have spent decades studying and refining both their product and their advertising with one goal in mind, repeated purchases and consumption. They are not interested in you having an occasional soft drink. They want you to consume multiple drinks day in and day out, all week long. This is why I'm an advocate for the consumer. It's important to me for Rayleigh's to be a part of the solution to help consumers cut down on their intake of added sugar from beverages. At Rayleigh's, we've implemented a number of changes to give consumers more alternatives to sweetened beverages. We're taking a stance by increasing the section of our stores dedicated to water and sparkling water beverages while decreasing the shelf space for soda. Additionally, in 2016, we removed all sugar-sweetened soda from the check stands to discourage impulse purchases of these beverages at checkout. These are a couple of the ways that we're trying to change the way we drink one beverage at a time.